it's difficult to go out into the world and to make things better if you're unhealed, if you're not better, if, you, if you're not having insights into who and what you really are. You can go out and you'll make a mess based on your unhealed places within you. So meditation is extremely important in discovering what you are, who you are, where you are, why you are. The W's. Who, what, why, where, and when. So as you meditate, as I teach in my meditation classes, those things open up. What are you? You are an emanation of the only life that there is. You can call it God, you can call it source, you can call it life. Who are you? You are a unique expression of the what. This presence doesn't repeat itself, so you are the only you that will ever exist. Where are you? At the very center of the cosmos. The very center of it, because the center is everywhere. Why are you? You exist to actually reflect the entire cosmos according to your unique pattern. When are you? Meditation. Now. The past, the present, and the future are tenses in time. There's the past, there's the present, and there's the future. There are people who live in the past, there are people who live in the present, and there are people who live in the future. But none of those three tenses are the eternal now. They're still bits and pieces of that which we call time. Time is a mental construct. I would love to teach you more of this, but you'll be invited shortly to take a meditation retreat with me where I can go deeper into the disruption of time and bursting into the eternal now. Let's do it now for a few moments. Let's turn within. Bring your attention away from the world. Establish a vibrational intention to wake up from the intoxicated sleep of separation from life. Become keenly aware that this genius body is doing so many things on a subconscious level. You're not consciously extracting oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen from the air to keep the body alive. No, it's happening automatically, subconsciously. You're not consciously pumping your heart. No, that's happening on the subconscious level, but you're grateful for it. The body's breathing presently. The present is a doorway to the now. come out of the past. The past is where shame and blame live. We come out of the future. The future is where ambition and anxiousness lives. We come out of the present. The present is where vanity or embarrassment lives. You're embarrassed in the present or you can be vain in the present. But the eternal now We give thanks for the nowness of this moment, and we allow life, capital L life, to have its way with us.
that we can live in the vibration of spontaneous goodness. And so it is. Peace and blessings, everyone. Life is good.